Over the last few years, retail media networks have been growing and gaining market share in the U.S. digital advertising world and are forecasted to surpass $60 billion by 2024, contributing 19.1% to total digital ad spend. To understand why this is the case, let's first look at what's happening in the advertising industry. Advertisers always want to intercept potential customers at different stages in their buying journey to make them aware of their products and ideally convert them into actual customers. In order to do this in a cost-effective way, they want to get in front of an audience that has the highest likelihood of converting. That's to say, this audience is within their target market segment. They also want to do this in an environment that is brand safe. In other words, they want to make sure that their ads are not served alongside content that might be damaging for the brand. When social media started taking off and had the ability to gather huge amount of information on each person regarding their demographics, what they like and what they don't, this created a great opportunity for advertisers to better target exactly the customers they want and so deliver their message in the most cost-effective way. However, this has been changing over the last few years. New policies and privacy measures have been implemented. That's preventing social media networks from tracking customers across the web or through third-party cookies, and thereby hindering their ability to gather more data and serve more targeted ads. This has both affected the social media networks and how they work, and it has also made advertising more expensive for brands because now they need to advertise to a broader audience that is not highly targeted and hope more people will convert to make it feasible. A lot of retailers started realizing the great opportunity that lies here. Think about it. Brands want to get in front of an audience that's interested in buying their products and want to do this in a brand safe environment, which exactly matches customers browsing a multi-brand retailer's website looking for a product with the intention to buy it. And this website is completely brand safe as there is no harmful content whatsoever served alongside the products. So these retailers came up with a new channel for advertising called the Retail Media Networks. In a retail media network, the retailer owns first party data that has been gathered from previous purchase data from their own customers. The retailer offers interested advertisers, for example, suppliers and brands, an advertising service where they can utilize this data to create targeted campaigns for their products on the different digital channels owned by the retailer. This is done in the form of different ad products such as sponsored products, sponsored brands, display ads, search ads, or email ads. When the customer sees the ad on the retailer's property and completes a purchase, data from this order gets fed back into the ad network and used to optimize future campaigns which creates a closed-loop attribution that makes the network even more efficient in the future. For example, when a CPG brand advertises on TV or social media, it's hard to know which proportion of sales came through which campaign or channel, as those brands sell through third-party retailers and don't sell directly to consumers. But when they advertise on a certain retail media network, they can directly see how many sales transactions resulted from each specific campaign through their partnership with the retailer in this case, and this helps them create better campaigns in the future. This has made retail media networks a win-win solution for retailers and advertisers. Advertisers get to target potential consumers at a later stage in their buying journey where they have a high buying intent, and retailers get to tweak their traditional business model and add a high margin revenue stream to their business. Especially when we find out that among the highest spending advertisers in the world are CPG companies such as Procter & Gamble and Unilever.